I want to introduce you to my good friend, Peter Paul Mann from IntelliV. Now, he has a company that does comparison and market research. But not only that, he's absolutely off the charts brilliant. One of the problems with being off the charts brilliant sometimes is that you speak at a high level or you write things in a way that isn't easy to relate to. But he made a post that's really, really, really important to follow. So I just wanted to share that post with you. First of all, I'll introduce you to him. Go drop him a follow if you need to. Take what he writes and feed it through ChatGPT and say, explain it to me like a seventh grader, and it'll be a lot easier to understand. Sometimes I even have to do that. But in this post that he wrote here, he says, game changer. He was talking to a student. He says, when testing consumer preferences, add any added bias can skew results. This includes branding features or presentation style. To truly understand material preferences, everything else must be uh, must be identical. Now. Let me, let me translate that to English. Essentially, if you want to do a market test and you have several products that you're putting up next to each other and you're asking people which one you prefer, if something is different that could skew the results, you got to make sure that you remove that bias, right? So I'll give you an example of what I did. I had a test where I was testing a remote control car in Japan and I took the best selling remote control Jeep and I, uh, two of them actually, because they like Jeeps and plain cars there apparently. And I went and made one in mid journey. Now my design was better and I won, but I barely won. And everyone chose the best seller because they had the remote control in the image. Now, when you went through the results, it actually said, I like the remote control. It has a remote control. It shows that it's an RC car. I want an RC car, right? I wanted to make an RC car, but I didn't even think about that. So when I compared them, it wasn't apples to apples. It was apples to oranges. So his exact point to make sure that you always compare apples to apples, that if they have an element in their image that you don't have, it could skew the results. And so that when you go forward and make a decision based on that bias, it could be the wrong decision. So you have to really dig into the data and understand what you're comparing. I highly recommend you use IntelliV. They've got some amazing tools in there for market research. And he's absolutely right, because when I went back and I did that test again, I crushed the competition because I added the remote control. So my design was better and the remote control was no longer a bias to choose the other one. And I beat them two to one. So read his uh, posts, translate it if you need to. Follow Peter Paul, man. Check out Intellivy. Until next time.